I don't want you to have to find the person that you love most in the world dead on the floor for you to start to make changes or start to educate yourself more thoroughly and get past the emotional aspect and start to understand really what is happening. It took me finding my brother um, gone to start to make those changes. I'm Adam Del Marcel. I'm doing a show with Dr. Eric Avery uh, at York College of Pennsylvania. Um, the show uh, is called Epidemic, um, along with this harm reduction space that we're building inside the gallery, which is um, going to be made of our artwork. But inside of that space, it's going to be an educational space to learn about harm reduction. Narcan overdose kits, fentanyl test strips, hygiene kits, wound care kits, things that help people where they are right now. Everybody focuses on prevention and treatment, which is great, and we need it. But what do we do with people when they're in their active addiction? There are very few people who are going to have the luxury of not being affected by this epidemic. What do you think the key is to, to making a difference, to impacting this epidemic, to, to winning the race that we continue to lose? Connection. We don't have the relationships and we don't have the support systems that we did as a society years ago. This show appeals perhaps to a different set of folks than we would typically see come to another community event. All that uh, Eric Avery and I care about, um, our work is not pictures on the wall. Um, our work is just um, a vehicle to pull people in so that we can drive this message of trying to support community efforts. I think you have to have an open mind. I think if you have an open mind, you can be educated and you can come around to at least understand. Our clients are everybody. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter at this point. Wealth doesn't matter at this point. I've had people who have had trauma and so this was like, they kind of just moved into it for numbing. And then some people it was like, I had, like she said, my wisdom teeth taken out or I had an injury and I started using a prescription that my doctor gave me. Every day I hear a different story of how this started, but somehow they end up on the same, same street, you know? I'm keeping you safe until you're ready to go to rehab or whatever it is that your treatment plan is. As an artist, the best that we can do is to leave uh, an honest account of what it means to be alive in our time and then those that come after us have the opportunity to excavate our work with the hope that they can take this and maybe live better by learning from our mistakes. <laughs>